What is poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. My name is Alex. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly some really cool techniques that you can use to improve your workflow. So in this video, I'm gonna also cover 10 keyboard shortcuts that you can use in Vegas Pro 18 because of course in previous versions, like a couple of years ago, I showed you guys some shortcuts, but right now I have a few more of them that you can implement so you don't have to go and use your cursor for every single icon. That just saves a lot of time and you can just keep on editing with like using your left hand or your right hand on the keyboard and just use these shortcuts so if you guys are excited to get started with improving your workflow make sure to hit the like button down below subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching and if you don't want to miss out any of these future videos i would say let's get started right after the intro All right, guys, so as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 18. So the majority of the shortcuts I'm gonna show you guys today are of course, probably ones you already know because you guys have been using Vegas Pro for years. You guys have seen probably like older videos of mine where I talked about like shortcuts and how to use certain things. But this is especially also for new people watching that are new to Vegas Pro. And I'm also working on a video which is gonna be, I'm not gonna spoil too much. It might release this weekend. I'm 99% sure of it. Just gotta figure out the best time and date. That video for in the weekend is also for of course beginners and you know, people getting into Vegas Pro, but actually a lot of stuff I covered in that video is also for advanced users as well. So let's start it off with the first shortcut that I use the most out of everything, which is Control S. And that's basically saving your project because if you're editing once in a while, Vegas Pro might crash, anything similar, or it might freeze, or you might think that you lost your progress or that your computer shuts off for whatever reason, you get a blue screen, whatever it might be that you need to save your project for. So of course, many people are also used to just go to file at the top and then it says save right here. It's just a really, really handy way, for example, to just add it right here and then you just want to press Control S on your keyboard to save your progress. That's also really crucial if you want to keep up your progress and you don't have to open up any of these auto save files that are, you know, really deep down in your program files folder. So Control S is actually pretty, pretty crucial to save your progress while instead of just going to file and then hit save all the time. So for the next one, we're going to stay on the S key. Pressing S on your keyboard will split things. It's very straightforward. You just have to place or click somewhere with your marker and then it will actually make a cut right here it's very straightforward one of the easiest tools to use because in different softwares it could be like control b just another key but this one is really simple because vegas said like all right let's use s because s stands for split there's not really too much about that key but i thought it was just handy to bring that up as well all right so let's move on to the next one because cutting and saving is actually one of your like primary tasks in vegas pro when you're editing so the next one is actually kind of an optional one so if you're editing along the timeline and nine out of ten a lot of people that are watching this video and you guys as well they always like to preview and watch the entire video in your project before rendering it out because if you're not going to do that and you will export it it all happened to us where we just were finished editing we exported the whole thing we throw it onto youtube and then we had just had to take it down because we just, you know discovered like this fault and then we had to open up our new project and fix that issue so a really really easy way to just go ahead and go back to the beginning of your timeline is press w on your keyboard as you can see it starts at right here at zero because if i for example click like 20 seconds seconds into this timeline if I press W on my keyboard it will jump to zero and that's how you can actually preview your videos from the start or go back or let's say that you are like 20 minutes into your progress you just want to go back for example to the beginning to get for example a sound effect you use at the start you could just press W to just go to the beginning of your timeline all right guys so instead of going ahead and saving all of these things there's also things that you want to go ahead and do backwards or reverse or anything like that when you are saving so let's say that you saved for example a fault or a mistake and that you want to go ahead and undo first before saving it again. So what you need to do is if you want to undo something, you want to hold left control and you want to press the letter Z on your keyboard. So if I keep pressing that, as you can see, it will start to undo all the cuts that I just made like a couple minutes ago to show you what the S key does. So if I go ahead and press Z right now, it is just undoing all of the cuts and no matter how many things that you have changed, it will actually keep reversing even though it will, it will keep reversing you know the stuff you did for four to five minutes ago if you really want that because it's not really like in photoshop where you will only be able to go back like five things you did it's really cool that you can just keep undoing the stuff if i keep pressing Control z it's gonna just make everything how it was at the start up until the point where you were in that position that you just first opened your project so make sure that you don't hold Control z because if i do that if i don't want to press it for example 20 times to undo a couple things vegas pro might crash because it's undoing many different things 
things, for example, like lowering music or importing files. That's a really dangerous one. So make sure to just keep pressing it one by one, save it once in a while, and then you should be good to go. So another one that is also very crucial if you want to use a different audio, for example, because right now I'm recording this video with a separate microphone because the microphone on my camera is just way too flat. The quality isn't that good. So what you always have to do if you want to import external audio, doesn't matter from what it is, separate the audio from your camera first. So the thing is, how what I would do is I would just import all the files that you have, for example, shot on your camera or your screen recording, whatever it might be. And then you want to basically press U on your keyboard. So then it will separate the audio, as you can see right now. You can also see how far the audio is off from the original one. That's also a very good one. But if you're going to press U on your keyboard, that's going to separate audio from video or video from audio. It doesn't matter on which one of those two that you click on. And if I just press Control Z right now, I undid that separation. So that's how you can also separate the audio from your video just to insert your new audio from your decent microphone and the good recording. And that's how you can sync the audio as well and just replace audio. But you can do that with anything. Let's say that you want to have different music from your intro, but you only want to remove the audio. You just want to press U on your keyboard on every single part of the outro or the intro. Then you just want to press delete. And then you only have right here without any audio. And then you're free to be able to insert any other different audio that you like. The next shortcut I'm going to show you guys is ripple delete. So let's say I'm going to show you what that actually means. So if I make a cut right here, with pressing S on my keyboard and then also a cut right here. If I delete this one, we will have this blank space in between our clips and we actually need to go ahead and for example, drag it onto each other. We can also skip that dragging process by just making sure to undo all the cuts. Press Control L. That's going to enable the ripple delete and then if I press S on my keyboard right here, and right here. Now I want to have this part removed. As you can see, if I press delete on my keyboard, it will automatically stick to the previous one and it's going to remove any different space that is in between these clips just to make you edit faster and that you don't have to keep dragging all that stuff. And that's a really, really handy tool. So if you don't want to just disable that, you want to press control L. So then if I undo it, for example, if I just click right here and I delete it right now, we will still have the space. So pressing control L allows you to do that. All right, guys, so we're going to pause the video for a second because I have something really, really cool to talk about. So let me get you on a tripod first. All right, so I just want to take a quick second to talk about Production Crate. This is not sponsored in any way. This is just from personal experience because I've been using Production Crate for almost three years now using their effects, their explosions, their lower thirds, their sound effects. Everything that you can imagine is on the website and they're literally adding new stuff day by day. And actually on their Instagram, they also show you how they make it by using some really cool behind the scenes clips on their page where you can see like how they create the explosions and how they model like 3D stuff. It's really, really cool. So if you guys are interested in getting your high quality effects transparent without any backgrounds, make sure to check out the link in the description. Over 90,000 people have already checked it out before you. So make sure to go to the link in the description, become a member of the community where you can ask your questions about editing, about these effects. It's really, really cool to bring your videos to a next level. And of course, they're not only like lower thirds, but they're also transitions that I use a lot. Make sure to hop over to the website if you're interested. I would say let's continue with the video. So the next one is basically opening up a new project by just skipping the progress of going to file and then hit new and then when you want to save it all that. So what you want to do is if you're ready, you want to just put press control S on your keyboard. And then what you need to do is you need to press control N. Then it's going to ask you if you want to save it once more just to be sure. I'm just going to click no. And then right here we will have our new project settings like te the template 1080p 30 FPS. And then if you hit OK, right now we will have a cool blank new project fresh for us to start editing a brand new video or you can just use a template that's how you can open up new projects by a really really handy shortcut just press ctrl n and then you can basically start from scratch in a new project so for the next shortcut i basically need to insert a couple more things so it doesn't really matter what it is i just need to have some media in my timeline so i'm just going to insert a couple different text effects in there and we're going to also go and put a little bit of like a color in the actual project, each on, each on a different track, and I'll show you guys why in just a second. So right now, the next one is Control A. Now, of course, you guys have all probably also been using that outside of Vegas, just to select everything, and it works exactly the same in Vegas. So if you wanna go ahead and select everything, you wanna basically press Control A. Now, the thing is that you will not only select everything in your timeline, but you will select all the tracks as well. So if you want to go ahead and select something separately, like for example, all of these four ones, but not the, all the tracks, you wanna hold left 
control and then you want to click on all these individual ones as you can see like that and then you can just drag them out in group but if you want to select everything in, into your entire project you want to press control a and then you're able to for example drag stuff around and it's not really that complicated because if you press control a not everything will be grouped i want to point that out that's not the case so if i just undo for example the selection i just click on this track right here it's still separate so don't get tricked into thinking like if i press control a that this is group because you're only just moving it in place in group but if you press g on your keyboard that's basically going to group them all no matter if you deselect all the tracks as you can see okay so the second to last one is basically reversing our video so let's say that you have a sound effect of a whoosh and you want to make that an explosion what you can do is you can go back and you can press j on our keyboard as you can see it now plays backwards so it's a really really cool trick that if you want to for example you know insert something different and you want to go back into your timeline you can just press space for example and then it will jump back to the place pressing j is actually a really really handy tool just to reverse the video and actually reverse your playback because if you're going to right click on something and you will hit reverse then it's going to reverse this clip but if you want to reverse the playing in your actual timeline in your video you just press j and then as you can see the marker starts moving and that's how you can also play it back in reverse mode without actually right clicking on your clip and hitting reverse to reverse the actual part in your timeline so the last one is going to be changing your edit tool at the very bottom so right here we have four icons so if you press d on your keyboard as you can see it will switch down below at the very bottom of our screen but it will also change your icon of your cursor wherever you're using in vegas pro let's say that you want to use a normal edit tool you can use it like that but if you want to for example use this tool which says the envelope edit tool you can use that to add delete select and move envelope points without moving events because that tool is just there to remove or delete or you know whatever like envelope points without having to change your media and your timeline my favorite one out of these four is this one which says the selection edit tool so let's say that you have a lot of tracks into your timeline and you want to or you actually forgot to disable the resample what you can do is you can press d on your keyboard as many times until you are on that little rectangle icon on your cursor and then you can basically select all the events just like that and then you can right click and you want to click switches and then you want to click on disable resample that saves you a lot of time if you want to disable the resample on basically all your clips so let's say that you actually forgot it because i forget that sometimes as well where i just start editing straight away all of a sudden when i'm starting to export i remind myself like oh dang it i didn't disable the resample so that's how you can also go ahead and do that because of course going like this right click hit properties disable resample and then the next one if you have a video of like 20 minutes with like 500 jump cuts you're not going to go through them like this separate like one by one so just press the letter d on your keyboard and to select all your media you can select multiple tracks at once and then just right click switches hit disable resample and then the resample will be disabled on all the tracks in your entire timeline all right guys so these are actually 10 shortcuts you can use in vegas pro to speed up your editing and you know improve your workflow and that's basically it for this video all right guys so that's for this video now you guys know some extra shortcuts on your keyboard that you can use in order to you know not go to every single cursor with your mouse it actually saves a lot of time so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to reward it with a like down below i'll catch you guys tomorrow obviously with a brand new video on the channel and I'll see you guys, obviously, tomorrow.